Hi everybody. Uh, today I am bringing a video to you to sell my Cricut Explore Air. Um, and I had it up a couple of weeks ago, but I thought it was an Explore Air too, and it's not. So I just want to be clear. It's a Cricut Explore Air. Um, it is used, um, but it's in great shape. Um, so let me just show you a little bit about it. Here's what it looks like. And there's the front, so, oh, let me show it so you can see it's a Cricut Explore Air. Um, there's the color, it's like that blue color. Um, it works great. I upgraded to a Cricut Maker, so that's why I'm selling it. Um, on the top here, I'm gonna move my camera a little as we go. On the top over here, it's got a little compartment caddy for your tools and stuff. Then we can open it. Um, you know what, I think, I'm gonna flip it this way. There we go. All right, here we go. Here's the button to turn it on. Over here's the button to open it. So we're gonna open it. All right, here's a caddy. Yeah, he's gonna go slowly open that way. Here's the caddy to um, put some more of your tools if you'd like. And another one here, like you can keep blades and things like that, pens, whatever you like. Um, here's the bar that rolls the paper back and forth, the mat. Uh, this is the cutting blade holder and it is metal this holds your pens over here um, this slot over here move this a little over so you can see that for a minute uh, that has a place where you can put the cartridges the newer machines are also fantastic they don't have this though you have to buy an adapter separate for that um, here is the is this way a little the system for um, putting what you want the cutting to be, um, the, the pressure. However, now, um, in addition to that, on the, on the uh, software, it, it says that, but you still should put this dial if you are using the software and on this particular machine, as far as I understand it. Um, but I would look more into that because I'm not an expert on that particular point. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Uh, you'll also get the, obviously, the uh, charging cord. There's a USB cord to plug it in. You'll get these two blades to go with it. You'll get a brand new cutting mat to go with it. This is just the standard tack cutting mat. Um, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn it on so you can see that it works. Okay, I am back. So I am gonna press the power button over here. So here we go. Here's the power button. So I'm just gonna turn it on. You're gonna see the machine start to and the roller is rolling, I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm gonna use one of my very beat up ugly mats. I use my mats for my Silhouette Cameo and for my Cricut. This mat works in both. And I'm just gonna put it in the guides right here. If you can see that. And I'm gonna load it so you can see that it works. Oh, load. Okay, and that's it. And then you would send when you do it through the uh, computer, through the uh, Cricut design space, you would tell it what you're doing and then you'd press this button here, the Cricut would start to blink and then you'd go. So, I'm gonna that. so that's it. So I am asking $115, $115 shipped, that will include shipping in the United States only, PayPal only, friends and family. I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, give me a, uh, email or put it below. If you're interested, put it below. My email is scrapbooknut2002 at yahoo.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.